Welcome to the Culturally Responsive Teaching video series. All of our lessons are focused on you, a teacher working in today's culturally diverse classroom. The strategies and lessons presented here are intended for learning and reflection with the hope that you may incorporate them into practice and further grow as a culturally responsive educator. Thank you for joining our team. Lesson 1, Myths About Language Diversity. This Myths About Language Diversity lesson has been designed with two videos and several guiding questions to help you reflect on your current understanding of language diversity in the classroom. The sequence of this lesson is laid out as follows. First, we'll review the lesson objectives. Next, we'll review the guiding questions that will be used throughout the lesson. You'll then be prompted to watch a language diversity scenario where a common myth about language diversity will be highlighted. Using the guiding questions, you'll then reflect on the myth presented. You'll then be prompted to watch a second scenario demonstrating a strategy promoting language diversity. Using the guiding questions, you'll then reflect on strategies for language diversity. You'll then complete the lesson by reviewing the key findings and takeaways during a short true or false quiz. The learning objectives for this course include View, understand, and reflect on the complexity and necessity of language diversity in educating culturally di different students. View, understand, reflect on the implied myths of language associated with standard English. View, understand, and reflect on strategies for teaching student understanding of codes and discourse. Interpret and reflect on how multiple variations of standard English can be used as strength-based complementary tools for teaching culturally diverse students. Before proceeding with the lesson, there are some key guiding questions we'd like you to consider. Have you ever known someone to speak a dialect of English that differs from the standard or academic English used by mainstream America? In what ways does it affect their life, both academically and personally? Do you view students who speak a version of other than standard English differently than those that do? America is an enormous landmass comprised of thousands of different cultures and ethnicities. These people interact with each other on a day-to-day -day basis in unique and individual ways. The high school classroom is just a small part, but plays a huge role in the overall foundation of the American experience. As you watch this scene, we'd like you to think about the following. Is Ms. Blanca's statement regarding Jamal's use of language appropriate? Do you think Ms. Blanca has a valid argument for why Jamal should redo the assignment? Do you think Ms. Blanca handled the topic of language effectively? How do you think Jamal is feeling in this situation? Do you feel this exchange with Ms. Blanca may have changed Jamal's attitude towards his teacher and or writing? In this scene, Ms. Blanca, a veteran teacher, holds Jamal after class to discuss the work he had handed in for the previous day's assignment. The ninth grade English students were asked to keep personal journals while they read the novel The Lord of the Flies and reflect on each assigned reading in the book. As you watch this scene, please consider the provided guiding questions. At the bottom of your screen, we've included a reflection box so you can input your thoughts as they come to you. Once you've finished watching the video, please take a moment to reflect on what you saw. You don't need to answer any of the guiding questions here, just reflect on what you've seen in the video. You'll have an opportunity to take a closer look at the guiding questions in the next part of the lesson. When you've finished reflecting on the video, click the submit button to continue. Okay class, don't forget to complete tonight's journal entries on chapter 4. Jamal, could you please stay back for a minute? I'd like to speak to you regarding yesterday's personal journal assignment. Jamal, I'm afraid I can't accept your journal assignment from yesterday but I am giving you the opportunity to redo it using proper English, since it was written so poorly, otherwise you are going to receive an F. Frankly, I'm afraid that if you don't begin working on speaking and writing correctly, you will never learn. So please redo yesterday's assignment, as well as completing tonight's journal assignment for tomorrow. And remember to pay close attention to proper English form and structure. Do you have any questions? Yeah. 
What exactly is proper English? In this second scene, Miss Blanca, a veteran teacher, once again holds Jamal after class to discuss the personal journal reflection he had submitted the previous day as homework. As you watch this scene, please consider the provided guiding questions. At the bottom of the screen, we've included a reflection box so you can input your thoughts as they come to you. Once you've finished watching the video, please take a moment to reflect on what you saw. Please take a look at the guiding questions and reflect on what you've seen in the video. How has the conversation changed the second time around? What do you anticipate the results of this different exchange will be? When you've finished reflecting on the video, click the submit button to continue. Okay class, don't forget to complete tonight's journal entries on chapter 4. Jamal, could you please stay back for a minute? I'd like to speak to you regarding yesterday's personal journal assignment. Hi Jamal, I just want to quickly chat with you about yesterday's journal assignment. I noticed you chose an informal conversational style. Are you familiar with the other forms of writing English for specific situations? While there's no such thing as proper English, it's a good idea to know which situations call for which different form. Frankly, I'd be happier that you were comfortable switching between the different situational language styles than just speaking and writing standard English. So I was hoping you could switch it up for tonight's journal assignment and try out a more formal style of language. But let me know if you aren't comfortable with that and we'll try to work something out. Do you have any questions? Nope, Miss Blanca. I'll do my best. Great Jamal. See you tomorrow. We'd now like to conclude the Myths About Language Diversity lesson with a brief true or false quiz, which will test your understanding about language diversity in a culturally responsive classroom. Don't worry, this is a self-assessed activity and you aren't being graded. The aim of the culturally responsive teaching video series is to expose you, the teacher, to situations educators actively participate in each day and guide you in your growth as a culturally responsive teacher. Please answer the following true or false questions. 1. Applied English has many different variations and the school version is only one of them. 2. It is better to determine if a particular variety of language is appropriate for given situations, purposes, and audiences instead of saying it is right or wrong. 3. A communication style that may be generally perceived as non-standard can be just as appropriate as one that is considered to be standard, depending on the demands of the particular communicator situation. 4. Rather than judging linguistic divergence as error, we should orientate to it as an exploration of choices and possibilities. If you answered true for all of the above questions, congrats! You've just moved further along the path towards becoming a culturally responsive teacher. If you missed a question, please reflect on why you may have missed it, and go back and expand on what you missed. Thank you for choosing the Culturally Responsive Teaching video series.